Rachel Mendez treat you better on BBC Radio Somerset. We're going to talk about the climate now. COP26, as I'm sure you'll have seen, is happening this week and next week, and we're covering it here on BBC Radio Somerset. Uh, we've been hearing uh, yesterday, wasn't it, University Speaking, we talked about climate justice. Today, we're going to talk about uh, eco-anxiety. Creative media students at Strode College have begun a podcast all about it. Uh, Adrian Smith is the creative media production course leader at Strode. And uh, we're going to hear from students Ben, Romano, Harrison and Jacob as well. Uh, evening, all of you. Hi. Evening. Hi. 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 Thanks very much for uh, chatting to us today. Uh, Adrian, I'm going to start with you, if that's all right. Just tell us a bit about uh, how long the podcast has been running for and, and the sorts of things that might get talked about on it. Well, um, the students have been um, planning and producing the podcast for the last six or seven weeks, and um, they've produced, I think, about seven different podcasts so far, um, and in fact, some of them have produced more than that. Um, they've gone off and produced their own individual podcasts each week as well. So I think they've been running for at least three or four weeks now. Great. Okay. Let's uh, bring in some of the students then. Uh, ben, I'm going to do it in the order I just read you out. So Ben, um, tell oh, yeah. us a bit about... Uh, the sorts of topics that you've discussed on the podcast? Well, we went into stuff about climate anxiety. Uh, mine focused quite a lot on carbon footprint, but we tried to keep it light, like a friendship conversation, where we talked about like um, devices we have, how we use them, and how we can cut down on carbon footprint, stuff like that. Right, okay. For, um, for people who haven't heard it before, Romano, just tell us what eco-anxiety is. What does it mean? Well, climate anxiety is this um, this fear, really, of the dire situation that climate change can put us in. So people feeling anxious about floods and wildfires and, you know, the air becoming less breathable. It's no diagnosis, but it's just a, a state of mind of somebody concerned about the environment that they live in. OK. And, um, and Harrison, would you say that you and, and the people that you've worked with on the podcast have gone through those sorts of feelings? Um. So, some of us, yeah, but like, I, uh, I would say, yeah, yeah. Mm. Can Can you explain to us what that is? Is there a specific part? Because there's so much as uh, Romano sort of referenced there. Um, so many different strands to climate change and reasons to feel a bit anxious about it. Uh, is there any particular part that's really made you feel that way, or is it a kind of a, a general big picture? Thing? It's just it's just a big picture, really. Yeah, it's yeah nothing in particular. Um. Jacob, for people who want to listen in to it, uh, is it available from you know places like Spotify or other podcast providers? Well, it's not out yet. It's not out on like big proper like places like Spotify or YouTube or anything like that. However, we are working on putting it on there at some point in the future, and we're going to make it a part of like our own kind of podcast that we already do. And. Uh, uh, Jacob, did you in, enjoy doing it? I guess this is all part of your course. So, uh, yeah. it, it, was it also enjoyable as as well as being you know useful for your, uh, your the work that you're doing? Oh yeah, it was really fun to record. We did loads of different segments. Like there was even one bit where it was like a parody of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Like it was <laughs> like we wanted to keep it serious, where we had like actual like serious topics, but we did have a bit of fun with it, and we wanted to make it like feel like a open conversation. Ben, did you, while you were working on it, did you feel like this is something that you want to go into, podcast production or audio production, radio, that sort of thing? Definitely love to do that. Um, so much so that I've started or am starting up my own podcast with uh, close friends at college. Um, I'd love to go into radio in the future, but we'll have to see where the wind takes me. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a good attitude, I think. The wind the wind taking you is, is a very good thing to... Uh, to sort of see how things pan out like that. I, I certainly wouldn't say that's uh, a bad thing. Romano, um, uh, for you, and, and obviously, as I say to Ben, you know, it's part of a course, but um, did you enjoy it enough that, that this is the sort of thing that you want to do as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Radio is sort of my favourite aspect of this sort of topic, and it was something that I'm so interested in anyway, because, I, I mean, I can't help but be somewhat involved in the current climate crisis is someone of my generation you know I'm concerned and I'm a little scared and it's fantastic to get all these thoughts and opinions out into some sort of you know public viewing and it was it was really fun for me um and I feel like we talked about something that genuinely meant something and I think some people would feel really 
you know, like they're not alone in, in their, their concerns about the climate, yeah, if they listen to it. Mm. Uh, Harrison, now with COP26 going on and there are various headlines coming out of what some world leaders are doing, what others aren't, uh, how hopeful do you feel or is hopeful maybe the, the wrong word? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been been looking at them and it seems like it's go, heading in the right right track, to be honest. Mm, okay, seems. that's important, given, given as you say, the situation. Um, and finally, Jacob, we'll, we'll uh, finish with you. I mean, the the podcast industry is so huge, isn't it? Have you sort of seen from making this just how accessible it is, you know, that you're able at Strode to come up with your own one? We heard Ben and, and Adrian earlier on mention that others have started their own ones. Is that part of the, the beauty of it, would you say? Yeah, I'd say it is quite fun to start up your own podcast and it's fairly accessible because we used a tool called Anchor, which is like a free, it's a free website created by Spotify and it just lets you upload whatever you want, like podcasts, like MP3 audio, and it just puts it on services like Spotify and Apple podcasts, stuff like that. Mm. And, mm. and that makes it easy for like just the average person to record what they want and put it up online. And it, and that just makes it really fun because like there's just look, looking through podcasts, there's just loads of di- people having different conversations about different things. And, like some people can you have even used it as like a storytelling medium, and I just think that's really cool. Absolutely, and there, there is something. Whatever is your interest, there's going to be a podcast in great detail about yeah. it you'll find on there for sure uh, well it's great yeah. to chat to you guys uh, adrian for to hearing them there talking about podcasting and and the course that you're part of you must be really proud of how this group has uh, has taken that on yeah i am yeah they've done very very well they've put a lot of work into the podcast a lot of time and effort they've researched the topics they've talked to um experts uh, they talked to an expert in anxiety interviewed her and you know, they've done a lot of work and I think the podcasts have come out really, really well. I, I just want to add, actually, that we are going to put them out on our Strode TV YouTube channel. So if anybody wants to hear them, um, they search Strode TV on YouTube and you'll find them. Great. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Ben, Romano, Harrison and Jacob. Uh, before I let you go, though, Adrian, I understand a uh, little bird has told me that you used to teach our very own Josh when he was at Strode is, is that right and if so can you dish the dirt please what was he like as a student oh Josh what can I where do you want me to start with Josh exactly <laughs> no he was great uh, Josh was great it's, uh, and for me it was a, a sort of a fairly dim distant memory um, I think it might have been about five years ago six years ago something like uh, that but yeah he was good he was good no no dirt well, to like- dish like all good uh, journalists, I'm going to take out one bit out of context and have it as the headline there. So he said you were fairly dim, Josh. That's what he said. <laughs> no, I, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, Looks great to speak to you all. Thank you so much. And uh, Ben Romano Harrison and Jacob, students at Stroden, Adrian Smith there, who's the creative media production course leader who used to uh, teach our very own Josh, who we'll hear from a little bit later on in the show. Uh, it's 11 minutes to eight. And while we're on. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, that was cheers. awesome. Yeah. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No Thank problem you. at all. Thanks. No, it's great. You guys-